With advances in technology, companies have been able to produce some really quality products. But with quality comes a price tag. Everything from electronics, your augers, terminal tackle and tackle, and rods and reels all need to be ready to go when the time comes. The nature of hard water fishing can be pretty brutal on a lot of your equipment, so it's really important that you keep that stuff safe and protected from the elements. Over time, like many of us, my rod collection has grown, and with more rods is the need for more storage. And funny thing is, I'm actually a musician, and what I use to keep my rods safe, I'll show you here, is a Gibson electric guitar case and this has been with me since almost day one of my ice fishing career, we'll put it. And I keep all my rods in here so they're ready to go rigged up whenever I need them. There are a lot of companies out there that make rod holders. Uh, Rappel makes a good product to keep your rods safe and organized when you're out there on the ice. Being a musician, I have multiple instruments and I just happened to have a couple extra guitar cases lying around. And one day while I was scrambling to get all my ice fishing gear together, I noticed that this guitar case is almost the perfect length for an ice fishing rod. And when I first started using it, it'd be three, four rods, and now I'm up to seven rods plus in this thing, kind of crammed in there. And it's actually worked great for me for five plus years of ice fishing with this bag. I can tell you a couple good tips that you can use with any product to keep your rods safe. I think the number one thing is when you have a real seat that has a handle that folds in like this, it's really important to make sure that all those handles are folded down flat. Not only to conserve space, but to make sure that you're not damaging the reel by bending it. Surprisingly, the material in this case is pretty snag proof. Like I said, I keep my rods rigged up all the time, and when I need to pull it out, they're not getting stuck on any of this material. Another good technique with this case, and any other case, is to conserve room to kind of stagger the way that these rods are set in here like this. If you notice, I've got reels facing this way, or rod tips facing this way, and rod tips facing this way. That's because I can fit more rods and conserve reel space on either end of the case. With the kind of fishing that I like to do, busting into these back lakes, I travel lightly. I got my graph, I got my auger, and I got my fishing rods, and a little bit of tackle. So the rods are on my back, I got one arm with a graph, one arm with my auger, and I'm busting through the balsam swamp, coming to find the buried treasure out here. Um, one thing about having it on my back is they're always with me. I can bounce from hole to hole, take it off, pick out a different rod, different spoon, different jig, and you know, you have a lot of times when you're dragging a sled into a place and things will kind of roll off and maybe you didn't see it, it's somewhere back there in the balsam swamp and it's not going to be ready when you need it. Something that goes along with fishing these back lakes is you never really know what you're going to run into, which is again why I stress the importance of having multiple rods rigged up with different line strengths and different weights of the rods. You might come in here and find that there's roaming crappies and you have one rod that's just fine for that, but you might also find that there are big bluegills that are stacked up along the weed line. I might need a different rod for that. And then you've got largemouth bass, you've got northern pike. You never know what you're gonna find in these backwaters. So I like to be ready with a variety of rods, line weights, rod weights, and lure types, so I can be ready for whatever the lake happens to challenge me with.